What? You say I look weird? Because I'm in my mom's pouch. I'm a kangaroo. Everyone is so curious to see who came to visit us. They are asking who you are. Those are humans. They are much more curious than we are. Look at the neighbours. See how curious they are? These humans want to know what life is all about for a kangaroo. Do you want to tell them? I will, but only when the neighbour stops teasing his mummy. I think he's paying attention now, and so is everyone else. All right. Well, we are kangaroos. We live in clearings or in forests. Basically, we live anywhere where we can jump. You'll see us doing a lot of that. In case you don't already know, we live in Australia. That's right, I know. We live in Australia. It's Australia. Australia. All day long, we graze, then jump around. Always on the lookout for a new pasture to graze on. We love all types of grass, but there are some types we prefer more. Oh, did I mention we love to jump? Oh my, you're silly. Kangaroos, while always searching for new pastures, graze on many different types of grass. The groups they live in are referred to as mobs. But I said most of that. Well then, go on. I'm not sure what comes next. Well, then let me tell it. Kangaroos are masters at jumping. We are very fast and can make big jumps. But I can't do that yet. I'm still too little. I have to stay in Mummy's pouch on her belly. Oh, don't you worry. You'll soon be big enough. But for now, you have to grow a bit more and keep getting stronger. Every part of a kangaroo's body is perfectly suited for skillful jumping. We have long, powerful legs, and our big tail helps our body keep its balance during every jump. We actually need more energy for the small jumps or walking than we need for big jumps. Mummy, everyone says the rain is coming. Are we jumping to hide from it? No, we don't mind the rain. We like it. After it rains, the grass becomes really juicy. <laughs> Mummy, it's raining much harder now. I don't like when my fur gets soaked. What are you on about? You stay in my pouch, which keeps the rain out. You don't get wet in there. But once, when I was late getting into it, it was cold and my fur was all wet. See? The rain is almost past. The rain has stopped. Look! Everything is wet and sparkling. The drops will soak into the soil, then the grass will drink it, and it will become much tastier. Mummy, when will you teach me how to graze properly? Watch me. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, Mummy. There are other friends on our clearing, but they're not interested in us. They just graze, too. Those are birds. They're eating to keep strong and healthy, just like us. There's enough food for everyone in this world. 
out in the world, an animal will always be able to find food as long as they search for it, and all these animals have cleverly adapted to the conditions they live in. Mummy, I don't understand. You see, kangaroos aren't the only ones who eat grass and can jump. You couldn't count the number of kinds of animals there are in the world any more than you could count the drops on the grass after it rains. Each animal looks and lives differently from any other. They each eat food unique to them. Aha! And I eat like this. Look! See how nicely I can graze? Nice! Now hold on and jump! It's not very tasty here. Okay, let's move to another pasture. And mummy, I was wondering, why do I live in a pouch? Is it so you can carry me when you jump? Or because I'm not fast enough? Well, there are many benefits to having a pouch. For example, I can look after two young ones of different ages at the same time. Unlike other animals, we don't have to wait a long time for our young ones to be born. Our babies are born after only 40 days and finish developing inside the pouch. Over there! It's a fight! I'm scared! Don't worry, it's just a kangaroo's game. I'm afraid anyway. I'm going to hide. What exactly is the game about? Well, that's how the kangaroos earn their social status in our mob. The one who wins is stronger and smarter and will have a higher position than the weaker one. But I will tell you more later. Now let's jump a bit towards the forest. tree and looking at us. It's a koala. She's only surprised at how many kangaroos have come under her tree. Ah, right. I know the koala. She's nice. She sits all day long up the tree chewing on leaves. Over there, they're playing again. They're each trying to prove who is stronger and smarter. That's how it is in nature. Everyone has their own strengths and specific skills. But there's always one who is slightly better in some way than the rest. That one gets the respect of all the others. I've got it. That's how they let other kangaroos know they are strong. Hmm, I think I need some rest. You shouldn't be resting. Look, you just missed an interesting twist in the jewel. I'm bored. Well, I must admit, even Koala looks bored. She's not interested in kangaroos. They can't climb trees, so she doesn't have to worry. OK, I'm getting out now, Mom. Hello, Mrs. Koala. Look how big I am. She says she's seen many just like me. What does she mean? She means that in her life she's met many kangaroos. Small ones, big ones and even middle-sized kangaroos. Something is happening in the forest. Something is coming. Dingoes! We have to keep an eye on them. Mrs. Quala says they can't get her. She's okay in her tree. 
Anyway, the dingoes are running away. They saw how strong we could be in jewels, so they got scared, right? What an idea, my silly little Springer. Where are you climbing to? I want to hide away, in case the dingoes decide to come back. Don't be afraid, they're gone. Look, our older neighbors are not afraid at all. With the help of their mummy, they can learn how to be more skillful in the jewels. Mummy, the kangaroos are surprised that the humans don't have a pouch. They don't carry their young ones with them? Humans don't need a pouch. Their young ones are born fully developed. They say that humans carry them in their front paws, or they have strange little nests which they push ahead of them. Okay, humans are strange. Humans are different, but mostly they like us. They come to watch our long and fast jumps. Can we go visit them as well? We'd rather stay here on our clearing. That's where we belong. This is the best place for us. It's our home. Okay, Mum. It's raining again. No, no, it's just the leftover water droplets falling off the tree leaves. It's almost twilight. You should say goodbye to the humans now. Okay, goodbye little humans. Come visit us again when I'm fully grown. Please don't forget your friends, the kangaroos.